guys, and Avis, this is Super Zamaka Baba Ko, and today that was a little bit high pitched. Yes, today we've started the Road to Glory, and I'm really far behind from normal, but we'll get there. I'm gonna play some Road to Glory whilst I talk to you guys about something I found, and something which is gonna excite a few people and maybe reveal what's next for WWE Supercar Season 3. Now, Yes, we have had the release of WWE Champions. Let's not hide away from that fact. We had the LE Taker event, the limited edition Taker event, which was, um, it could have been run better, but you know, I've, I'm leaving all that in the past. I am gonna talk about today something I found towards the time that the limited edition Undertaker came out and I've not seen before. And the reason why I wanna talk about it is because it potentially could hint at a new tier or Fusions in WWE Supercard Season 3. So we're going to play AJ Styles, apparently. Apparently, AJ Styles plays this game. We're going to get John Cena, the new 16-time WWE Champion, the equaler of the record set by Ric Flair. We're going to actually play it now. We're going to level up some cards because I've got a few pros I've got to get as well, but I'm going to pro those in the next episode, not in this one now. All I'm going to ask you to do is hit a huge thumbs up on this video, please, as hard as you freaking can, because likes equals prices. I'm joking. The more likes you get, the better it is for everyone. Yay! And also don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below, and also hit the subscribe button, which is should be just below you if you're if you're in the comment section, it'd be above you. But whatever, we're gonna get into the main content of this upload, and I wanted to talk about a very interesting image that I got sent over by one of my amazing followers. I have to say, each and every one of you are freaking amazing. Which shows an image that I didn't expect to see. Now, there is an image glitch within WWE Supercard. Your card should shop one tier, it shows up a completely different tier. So, for example, you could have a hardened Kofi Kingston and have, I don't know, it show up as an, an epic background or maybe a Stone Cold Steve Austin with a legendary background, even though Stone Cold Steve Austin has never had a legendary card. That's probably the better example. Now, I found this on Twitter, and this image looked like a blue and green background behind Rich Swan, former Cruiserweight Champion, because King Neville is now the Cruiserweight Champion. I mean, come on, guys. They're under rock if you don't know that. I'm joking. But, very interestingly, random as hell image behind that Rich Swan card, which I can't explain. I'm just like, where the hell did that come from? But interestingly enough, that could explain one of two things. And one, it could explain why, for some reason, we didn't see any kind of new content around the Royal Rumble weekend. But I've got my own theory around that, and it's purely a theory which we'll talk about in a moment. But also potentially explains that maybe there might be something coming. Potentially fusions instead of a new tier. And I know Biggie Dude, Eric, actually... Uh, predicted that and said that he thought it was going to be fusions that would be coming first the hardened elite and ultimate which would make sense because that's what cat daddy and supercard have done beforehand and um, it's also you got to think about it nhl and nba have had recent updates as well which could explain why i'm still under the impression that we are going to get a new tier sooner rather than later but again i've got my phone theory behind that but what do you think this image shows? Do you think it's just a, a glitch, a bug or something? But this was hidden and not many people have found this since. No one's contacted me since to let me know about this. In fact, this was just a random occurrence on the night that Limited Edition Undertaker became available. So there's John Cena. We're going to carry on and get more cards off the board because we're going to beat up Seth Rollins. In fact, no, I don't want to be up Seth Rollins because I actually feel really sorry for the guy. Seth Rollins injured again, potentially out of WrestleMania again kind of feel sorry for the guy um you know this time he's actually a face and you know they're only trying to create a bit of heat for Samoa Joe going into fast lane and then that happened it's kind of crazy um I know he's been getting a lot of support on Twitter especially from the person who he actually accidentally injured Finn Balor you know it's uh there's a there's a there's a little bit of history there and it's nice to see that they uh obviously don't have any personal feelings around it so uh, personally, I just hope he gets back as well soon. But let's talk about the theory which I had. As we get on to more, as we get through more Road to Glory, my theory, as we cover off the undercards, and also I'll cover off Team Road to Glory because we actually got 
uh, the Team Road to Glory cards this week, we came very close to not getting ourselves a card. But I have a very, very strong theory, and maybe this is complete guesswork, but I wanted just to, to throw it out there, okay? People have been complaining a little bit this week about the lack of content and stuff that's coming out for the W Supercard, which I think is absolutely crazy. Some people are saying that because W Champions has released that W Supercard is dying and stuff, it's like, what really are you actually crazy? The game is still more than alive. It's, I uh, just, unfortunately, there's some people out there who just seem to think that every new thing is the death of something. I remember, I remember the um, Battlefield 1, if you ever heard of that game on the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. There's people in that community who constantly go on at the creator saying the game's dying, and it's like, no, the game still has over 500,000 active players. But, I have a theory as to why we got nothing new during the Royal Rumble weekend as we wait on the network to finish lagging so we can actually get past this match. But there we go, we can get past it now. And that is, well, it actually relates to Mankind and Undertaker, okay? So Mankind's card was released at the same time, roughly, that the Undertaker card was released. I've got a theory that maybe that wasn't supposed to happen and that maybe they were supposed to be in an event together or in some kind of cohesion with each other um, as part of a new update. Now, I would lay money on the fact that if there's an update plan that probably would have been cancelled as soon as uh, Supercar Cat Daddy knew that there was an update, big update for WWE Champions, which would have meant that there was a lot of advertisement. I mean, you literally couldn't escape the game if you're watching anything WWE rated. In fact, even going as far as SmackDown this week, uh, the NXT stuff, anything on WWE Network has always got WWE Champions advertisement. It's everywhere at the moment. So I would be very surprised, and I'm going to be up front with you guys, I, I would not be surprised if something better was or more organized was planned, and then out of the blue they found out that the game was going to be, I mean, they would be getting no press coverage at all for a new tier or anything, and they had to then cancel those plans. I mean, I'm purely speculating here, but... It, it just felt odd. The last week has just felt odd, and it's. Uh, I mean, they still not haven't come out on Twitter and actually said anything about it. But I would not be surprised if we see something new next week, because usually this is what happens when Supercar goes quiet. They kind of just come out with this big, big update. They did it with Throwbacks. They did it with Season Three. They've done it with Fusions of Throwbacks beforehand. I just would not be surprised in the slightest if there was a little bit of a reason behind why it's been so quiet recently. And I'm not trying to throw it out there just to dispel people's fears and stuff like that, because there's nothing to be concerned about. The game's still going on, you've still got an amazing Mankind event, and a lot of people are going to get themselves a Carl Anderson Pro, and I actually think it's really cool that I did the Carl Anderson, even though it's not a pro for me, uh, I have got a few others which I need to get done, which is why I'm training up a couple of singles in Road to Glory now. But maybe, maybe that little leak there of the background behind Rich Swan, maybe, just maybe, that was an indication that something is coming, but they couldn't release it because they didn't want it just to get swamped and everyone to be playing champions or playing other games when they were releasing something themselves. So all I would say is that maybe that's complete speculation. Maybe uh, I'm just throwing out something completely random, but... I, I've just got a feeling. I've just got a feeling that something maybe wasn't quite right. And the reason why, I mean, it just, this is just a, from a personal point of view. But if I had an image of The Undertaker I could use for an event, and then I had an image of Mankind, I would have done a PCC with Mankind versus Undertaker. And The Undertaker card looks very, very similar to the old style PCC cards from Season 2 with a lot of flames going in the background, etc. The love, etc. The, the, the pro animation looks pretty amazing. And I doubt they would have just got the limited edition card image out of nowhere. Maybe, again, I'm barking up the wrong tree. Maybe that was destined for something else, but... Uh, and uh, maybe we'll find out what it is next week. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if any of the cards in Road to Glory are a pro for you. Also remember to leave a like on this video. Let's get through the remainder of this uh, Road to Glory match. Remember to also subscribe using the link that's going to pop up just down here 
in a moment with a little circle with my logo in it. Go check it out. Also, just to mention, I've got myself a Facebook profile now, which means that you guys can go and like the page, follow it, etc. If you could go do that using the link in the comment section and also in the description below, check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram links whilst you're at it. But if you go check out that Facebook profile, it's been pretty incredible. And thank you very much if you do so. So let's get this over and done with. We are close towards the end. I think they're around three or four. Let's go and get this sorted. Last couple of matches here with The Undertaker. And, oh, two times Undertaker, actually. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, go check out. It's going to a little bit of link pop up over here showing uh, the, the uh, video where I've got myself The Undertaker as well. I actually need to get myself some speed in that Samoa Joe, so I'm going to use that up right now. Uh, let's get ourselves these poles off the board. Let's see if we can get ourselves a title whilst we're at it. There's Emelina, who's never debuting ever. Randy Orton, the Royal Rumble winner. Spoiler alert. And a title match. See, we got one. It's awesome. And Boom and Reigns, who's currently being linked, by the way, with taking Seth Rollins' place at WrestleMania. Because everyone wants to see Roman Reigns versus Triple H for the second freaking time in a row. Daniel Bryan's WrestleMania card. Undertaker, who's a very, very good card, is the SummerSlam card. Samoa Joe. Um, is the Harden card, and then we have AJ Styles, one of the in fact, one of the best cards in Elite tier, and then we have Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson is significantly better than Lou Gallows, so uh, all I'd say is have fun if you've got a pro of him, and then of course we have Mrs. Foley's baby boy. And on the subject of WWE Champions, if you haven't already checked out already, go check out my first ever upload of WWE Champions. It's uh, definitely worth a visit if you are thinking of starting playing the game now is the time to do it but i'll leave that to you and one last thing and that is to Sorry!